hello everyone uh, today i'm going to talk about the demodulation of angle modulated signals now basically the contents would contain introduction angle modulation method discriminator demodulation of phase modulation and some questions now what is demodulation demodulation is extracting the original information bearing signal from a carrier wave a demodulator is an electronic circuit or a computer programmed in a software defined radio that is used to recover the information content from the modulated carrier wave there are many types of modulation so there are many types of demodulators the signal output from a demodulator may represent sound an analog audio signal images or a binary data now why is demodulation required demodulation is required to demodulate a modulated signal now what is modulation modulation can be stated as a superimposition impo of a less frequency signal to a higher frequency signal so that it could travel a uh, distance which we desire now after traveling the distance uh, the modulated signal needs a demodulator to restore back its original message signal so we could get the contents of the message signal. Now, here we are going to discuss about the demodulation of angle modulated signals. Now, what is angle modulation? Angle modulation is the modulation in which phase or frequency of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the message or transmitting signals. The angle modulation is classified as frequency modulation and phase modulation. In frequency modulation, the frequency of carrier signals altered in accordance with the message or transmitting signal. The frequency modulation is also classified as narrow band with frequency modulation and wide band with frequency modulation. In phase modulation, the phase angle of carrier signal is varied with respect to message or transmitting signals. Method the information is hiding in this particular frequency deviation as the input frequency varies the instantaneous input frequency varies you would like the output of this device these devices are circuit which can do this job and these are called discriminators now here let me explain the phi t is the output of a is the frequency modulated signal now to get the demodulated signal we first take this kf constant and we put this integration from minus infinity to t where mt is the modulated signal with respect to time now here d y dt is the demodulated signal which is equal to kd into kg into mt which is the message signal now kg is the generator constant and kd is the discriminator constant now here we can see the ideal characteristic which has been plotted between the input frequency and the output voltage now this yd this is the discriminated signal is for the frequency modulated signals now next uh, the demodulation of phase modulated modulation now here in the input you can see a phase modulated signal which travels through a frequency discriminator after that we get the output yt and after that we integrate it to get the demodulated signal now below you can see yt is equal to kd into kp into dm by dt now here kd is the demodulated discriminator constant i'm sorry it's a discriminator constant where and kp is the phase modulated constant now after integration of yt we get kt kd into kp into mt which is the required demodulated signals now let us come to the questions what is demodulation demodulation is the process of extracting the original information signal from a modulated carrier signal explain the need of demodulation now demodulation is required to get back the information sent at the receiving end 
Now third question, what is modulation? Modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of a periodic waveform called the carrier signal with a modulating signal that typically contains information to be transmitted. Most radio systems in the 20th century use frequency modulation, FM or amplitude modulation M to make the carrier carry the radio broadcast. Thank you.